In this video I'm going to show you how you can use the Internet Explorer compatibility mode inside of Microsoft Edge to access cameras and DVRs that require the Internet Explorer plugin. Newer cameras do support HTML5 web browsers, but the Internet Explorer plugin is required to fully access the live viewing features offered in the web interface. First we're going to double click to open up Microsoft Edge. In order to enable the compatibility mode I need to go to the three dots at the top right, otherwise known as settings and more. I need to go down all the way to the settings option on the main menu. And inside of here, these settings are found under the default browser settings. And here we can see there is a allow sites to be reloaded in Internet Explorer mode. This is disabled by default and needs to be enabled by going through the settings menu as I just shown you. So we're going to click to enable this. And then as it says, we need to restart the browser in order for the change to take effect. So I'm going to go ahead and click the restart button to restart the browser. So you can see the browser quickly restarted itself and now I can successfully open a web page in the Internet Explorer compatibility mode. So in order to access the Internet Explorer compatibility mode I would first need to type in the IP address of my camera which is 192.168.1.109 which is the factory default. I'm going to hit the enter key now this is the HTML5 web interface and I can log into this interface using the default username and password. Now as you can see this interface does allow us to live view the camera and we have some limited controls at the top right hand side of the screen. To fully get the features of the web interface I'm going to want to click the three dots again to get to the menu. Go down to the more tools option. It's going to expand into a sub menu. And then as you can see at the bottom, there is a reload in Internet Explorer mode. So I'm going to click that to reload this web interface into the Internet Explorer compatibility mode. I can type in my default password again. And this time I can click the login key. And now I'm prompted to install the Internet Explorer plugin that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. To install it, I'm going to click this notification in the center. It's going to ask us if we want to run or save the plugin. I'm going to click the run button. It's going to make sure we want to run it. So we're going to click run again. It should run through a Windows installer really quickly. And as you can see, it pulled up the web interface through the Internet Explorer compatibility mode. The notable thing here is we've got an increased number of features at the top right, in addition to some additional features at the bottom left. Hopefully this video helps you use the Internet Explorer compatibility mode and unlocks all of the features that you normally wouldn't be able to use in an HTML5 enabled web browser. Thank you for watching.